What exactly happened in 1995 with the All Blacks and the, the story about uh, them supposedly being poisoned? Right, so there's a few misconceptions that need to be cleared up here. They were not poisoned the night before the final, which as we all know was the 24th of June 1995, on the Thursday night before. Those guys got horribly sick, about two thirds of the squad, so not everybody and not Joe Nolomu, but um, they got horribly sick with food poisoning. There was projectile vomiting and it included one of the South African contingent assigned to the All Blacks. I, got, I was sitting in the movies with a bunch of them when big Richard Lowe said to me, Rory, I need to get back to the hotel. I said, Lowe, there's half an hour left. He says, I need to go now. So I said, okay, well, let me go and tell the other guys because they scattered all over about five cinemas in Santon City. So I went into the first one that was next door to us and before I could walk in, the battering doors opened in my face and out came Jeff Wilson clutching his stomach. And I looked at him, I said, Goldie, you too? He said, yeah. We got them into the car, we didn't make the hotel. The door flew open halfway down the road, they were spewing all over the road. <laughs> and when I got in there, Dan, it looked like a, a, something out of Saving Private Ryan. There were guys <laughs> lying on the floor outside the doctor's room, down the passage, and he, him and the physio and the medic were administering electrolytes and injections and, and, and. And to their credit, the All Blacks took a decision as a team not to mention that. But of course it leaked out. And after they'd lost to us, in the final, a Kiwi journalist asked the team in a press conference, a live press conference, what about the story? So they had to say, well, yes, we, you know, we, we were, a number of us were incredibly sick. And Jeff Wilson was the worst of the lot. He didn't make um, half time. If you remember, he was replaced by Mark Ellis. Do I think it was intentional? Absolutely. Do I think South African rugby was involved? Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure, and all indications as I've tried to get behind this, would seem to be that pressure from betting syndicates, it's the old money in sport, let's shorten the odds. Somehow they were gotten to, I don't know whether it was the food or the water, you mean the tea and the coffee, but those guys were properly sick. And um, were they in a fit state to take the field by the Saturday? Yes. You know, in the main, 98% of them, yes, but what about the psychological preparation? How did that affect them? So mm -hmm. I say to every South African, as I, as I say to myself, it happened. And sadly, it happened on my watch. And that still is something that I find incredibly, I take it very personally. Well, it's a remarkable story. Yeah. And, uh, it's one that's uh, still getting headlines 20 odd years Absolutely. later. Absolutely. The Kiwis will not let this go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>